Hey, what's up everybody? Mad Zach here and today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite techniques for starting a new song, beatboxing. You don't have to be a good beatboxer, you don't even actually have to be able to beatbox. In fact, if you can whistle, you can hum, you can snap and clap and stomp your feet, then you can use this technique to come up with brilliant song ideas and translate them into epic, fat, raging tracks. Next time you get an idea, whip out your audio recorder, just hit record, it could be humming, <laughs> or even singing. Baby, I don't want you to live. It doesn't have to be good after all, it's just a sketch. I usually do my kicks like this, my snares like this, and my hat's like this. So if you can't do the beat and the melody at the same time, you could also uh, make it something like this. And you're done. So the next step is to bring it into your DAW, sync it up to the tempo, and start lining up drums and a bass line that fit the sound. So the first step is to obviously bring that audio sample into your DAW. So we're gonna take it here, drag it onto the audio track, and yeah, we're gonna warp it because we want it to be linked to the tempo of the song. This is important. So, anyways, you find that first little spot right there. You can kind of zoom in. Um, and then you wanna drag that to the one. Okay, so that's my snare right there. Add a few warp markers. Okay, now let's pull it down to its natural tempo, which I can see here is about 94. I need one track, which is going to be loaded up with a drum set. And then I need another track, which uh, to start out with is just gonna be a really basic synth. Let's start out with the beat though. We're gonna make a new MIDI clip. Just say create a new MIDI clap clip. All right, open that up. And now let's add some. And I literally just layer in the drums right over it. If I want, I can kind of zoom in and see where they are. If you watch it moving right there, you can actually line it right up with where I did the snare with my mouth. And I could do it again. Let's see, zoom out a little bit. Let's move it this one right to the next one. And the cool thing is you can also use this to dial in uh, swing. So like, for example, this one, I was obviously kind of swaggering that, that clap a little bit. So I can, I can get off the grid by hitting Apple 4, Command 4, and then just use the arrow to get it right on. Till it's right on there. There's another one right there. If we go right there. So now I can copy that to this right there. Then maybe I can add like a Okay, so I've got the skeleton of the beat. Now let's get in there with a little bit of a nasty bass line. I know that I have something happening right here. If you hit this little headphone thing, you can actually hear it. I can duplicate that note just by hitting Command D. Scoot it over a little, take it off the grid, and then use the arrows to get it right on to where I have it on the beatboxing. So we can always change this up later, but I'm just laying that down the skeleton right now. And then this is where it goes bum. And it 
loops basically. So I'm just gonna duplicate that clip. Okay, now let's add a little bit of a filter movement. To do that, all I do is click the parameter that I wanna automate, which in this case is the filter frequency. I also wanna change this to a little bit more of a harsh filter, an LP24 instead of a 12. I can see where the automation is gonna be. It's right here. So I'm gonna grab my, just make some double clicks. Uh -huh. Bring this down and then right here, I want it to come up. And, I want... and that's a really harsh ending there. It just really cuts off. So I'm gonna actually switch over to my pencil tool, which I can do by hitting Command B. And I can see again that it, the filter would open up here. So I'm gonna go off the grid now and use the pencil tool again. And actually just sort of mimic the exact motion that I see there. And then let's try it again here. We can just kinda go up and down. And again, this is just a sketch. So we can always perfect it. And then I know that here it seems to kinda open up. Okay, so then we've created our loop. If you hit plus right here, it opens up just the automation. So now I can duplicate that automation without duplicating the actual MIDI notes. And of course I can make this all more extreme if I bump up the resonance. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another trick, which is to put the reverb before the compressor. You wanna put the dry wet on that reverb at about 20. Okay, and then we're going to duplicate the compressor and make the second compressor a sidechain compressor. So now we're going to say, we turn the sidechain on right there, and then we're going to go audio from the drums. Turn on the EQ because we only want a sidechain from the one band, which is kind of like the snare or the top of the kick. Um, so we're going to put that at 500. Make this a high quality, filter it a little. And there we have our idea. So we can duplicate that a few times and now we can start laying out the whole track. Now it's just about arranging. You've recorded your idea. It sounds quite a bit like what I initially had in mind, which was so that's how you take a beatbox sketch and turn it into a fully fledged song. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit subscribe for lots more good stuff. I'm Mad Zach here for DJ Tech Tools. Over and out.